Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has blessed us with his smooth, velvety voice and is also reminiscent to the great Bill Withers. Mm -hmm. His new album, Hello Like Before, is a tribute to the iconic Mr. Withers, and we get a chance to hear some of it now. Please take a listen to the sounds of Anthony David. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Grandma's hand. Clapped in church on Sunday morning, Grandma's hand shakes sometimes and swell. Grandma's hand used to issue out a warning. She'd say, Tony, don't you run so fast. Might fall on a piece of glass. Might be snakes there in that grass, Grandma's hand. Mm-hmm, Grandma's hand Sue the local unwed mother Yeah, Grandma's hands Used to ache sometimes and swell Oh, Grandma's hands Used to lift the face and tell her She'd say, baby, Grandma, understand That you really love that man Put yourself in Jesus' hands, Grandma's hands Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, Wilbur! Yes! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yes! Good stuff, good Mama. stuff! Mama! Hey! Hello! Hey, 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 hey. It's always a pleasure. You just, she's it, so amazing. Yeah, you know. I just yes. love your voice. Have a Appreciate seat it. down with your friend. Do you name your guitar? Do you name your guitar? <laughs> no, I no, don't. Not into that. was asking me that earlier. Yeah. I, my first one I tried to, and then I just, eh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, move, you know, yeah. they move around a lot, too. So, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about uh, Bill Withers and mm -hmm. how he influenced you yeah. and why you decided to, to do an album like this. Yeah, well, when I started in music, um, you know, I kind of started late. And so his story was inspiring in that way. And then also the style of music that I wrote because I played guitar and I think the vocal and uh, the lyrical thing, I was just like, he inspired me a lot, and I really, when you go over all those songs, you go, "Oh, that's all him." You yeah, know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. You know, it just really gave me confidence on what I was doing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I mean, I love Bill Withers. He's yeah. ridiculously timeless. Mm -hmm. um, what was the inspiration behind why you decided to do an album of all Bill Withers? Do you think that yeah. there's a void out here hmm. in the music industry of real voices and soul like that? Yeah, oh, wow. and I'm just transmitting culture, really. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's like. I, babies love Lovely Day, you know yeah, what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, and like Grandma's hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. and so it was just one of those things that like it was kind of always coming, even, you know, do, on the on the circuit, just doing live shows, especially when you don't have hits of your own or early on, I'd be like, I'm like this, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I would play a song like, you know, this song, I think I, I'm, I'm like that. If you like that, you might like me. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so let's yeah. talk about, I mean, you, you obviously uh, talked about your guitar earlier, but it mm -hmm. seems to go hand in hand, you and your guitar, yeah. and that kind of sets you apart, especially in R&B. Mm -hmm. What makes you so special with your guitar? I'm and just then, special. I mean, I mean <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, but how, how, yeah. how did this all come about, you and the um, guitar? Well, you know, my sister India Ari, you know, we started together here in the city and just, just, we just picked it up. Like, we would, because of artists like him, we'd be like, if we're going to get in the game, yeah. we have to be like this. We have uh -huh. to do something with it. So we sat with this, like, a day after day after day after day, and this is how I found my voice. So you've self, you're self-taught, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's a guy named Laz. He was a painter that found me on my uh, fire escape some years ago, <laughs> and he came up and showed me a lot. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Yeah, right, like yeah. a painter, I mean like a painter, like yeah. paint, not like an artist. You yeah. Know what I'm yeah. <laughs> and the, there's so many ways that one could go in the industry. Yeah. What was the intentionality behind the way that you present a record, the mm -hmm. way that you present your <clears throat> lyrics and mm -hmm. your song? Nice. Hmm. Um, it's just like trying to relate, you know what I mean? We're, we're you know, you're a songwriter. Mm -hmm. We speak for people that really can't put it together themselves, you know what I mean? So, you know, I'm just looking to, to give a feeling that that somebody else might have had, maybe they don't know how to illustrate it. Yeah. I'm good at Regardless that. Regardless of the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah well, you know, people, so your music resonates with so many people, and our forever president, mm -hmm. uh, Barack Obama, mentioned <laughs> you on the Ricky Smiley <laughs> Show, right? Yeah, yeah. Ricky Smiley. Forever, forever president. president. Forever. <laughs> right? Okay? How did that make you feel to know someone like him 
and, and your music resonates with someone like him. That was awesome. I mean, you yeah. know, I came up, like I said, I came up in this HBCU college grad area, yeah. and I was writing for smart people. So when I, like, <laughs> a really smart person said, I like it, I'm like, okay, mission accomplished. Yeah, <laughs> so. writing for smart people. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you dumb, you dumb, you dumb. Right, I, got right. you. I can I got only you. write right. for them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are a Grammy nominated artist, yeah. which is amazing. Mm -hmm. But explain to everyone else mm -hmm. what Grammy nominated really means for artists like yourself, like myself. Mm -hmm. Does that change like how you present your records or how people receive our mm -hmm. records? Oh well? yeah, it's how people receive it. You mm -hmm. know that. Like, you know, I think I'm good already. You know what I'm saying? Hello, somebody. But like, you know, when you can say Grammy nominated, people nah, go, oh. all of a sudden, you're great. Like, right. 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 I'll take it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, Good, good, good. Um, you launched a nonprofit. Talk to us a little bit about that. All oh, yeah, Walks yeah. of Life. It's yeah. an art program for children. Yeah. Why did that, why did you feel like that was necessary? Yeah, well, I'm from Savannah. My cousin um, and her husband, they started it in Savannah. Okay. Uh, they started with a poetry group they had, and it really just uh, is a tool to teach kids using hip hop and uh, they, they use technology mm -hmm. and so it's a program for that and I know for me in Atlanta I was seeing you know I live in the old fourth ward so okay. I was seeing kids you know that I would be wanting to say don't do this but I have no alternative and so when I saw her program that was going like 10 years in Savannah I brought them up here oh, and we're now in the Wheat Street Baptist Church uh, right on, uh, right in the old fourth ward and they really just starting to get their wings here in yeah, Atlanta. Yeah that's mm -hmm. good you wanted to be able to present them with something before yeah. you told them something. Yeah. That yeah. message! Just, yeah, that's right. good. <laughs> well we always love being, I love you being here with yes, us. Your we presence, do. your mm -hmm. voice, just your being. It's just absolutely yes. beautiful. Love y'all, love the show. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. you know, it's an open door policy for you. Oh, always. You. Uh, his new mm -hmm. album, Hello Like Before, is in store Doors now. Up next, we hear from you and what the people say. Can we give it up one more time for Yay! the amazing Anthony Davis? Yes. <laughs>